<sighs> okay, so no, I'm not going to just make animations about boxing. The last video I posted should make that pretty clear, and I've got a zillion videos lined up in the factory, so all y'all just need to chill. Other videos are coming very, very soon. We're looking at a really good year, this 2018, so if you're hyped for new videos, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications so you know whenever a new video comes out! So let's get into what you really came here for. KSI versus Joe Weller. Who is going to win? Let's make one thing clear. I'm going to be as objective as I can and as honest as I can. And objectively, I think KSI is going to win. By knockout, maybe, maybe not. But regardless, he's going to win. I know the Joe fans are already angry, but just hear me out. So let's just check the statistics for a quick minute. KSI, he's 23 years old, he's 6 feet tall, and he's 85 kilograms, which is mm, about 160 pounds. And he's a right-handed fighter. Joe Weller comes in at 5 foot 9 inches, he's 71 kilograms, 156 pounds-ish, he's 21 years old, and he's also right-handed. Just from that, we can see that KSI is massive, and that's not just fat anymore. Now, we're talking big-boned, toned, and muscular-roned. A lot of others have said it, but we're looking at two different classes of fighters here, and it's clear that JJ is going to be the heavier hitter. Joe hits hard too for his weight class, pound for pound, whatever. But if I had to choose to get punched by KSI or by Joe, I'd pick the latter because JJ's punches will hurt far more. Joe has one major advantage going for him and that's his trainer, Anthony Joshua. Joe's fitness has never been better. We're looking at him in the best shape of his life and he really is looking like Popeye. I'm Popeye the He's not a complete pissbot at boxing, he really isn't. I'm expecting his technique, speed, and strength all to be at his best come February. If JJ isn't training harder than Joe, or doesn't have a good trainer, it's totally possible for him to be outmatched. Anthony Joshua is an absolute beast! But KSI isn't fighting Anthony, he's fighting Joe, and almost all of the other advantages line up for KSI. Everybody knows about Joe's bad knees, and that's just one disadvantage that's going to be against Joe during this fight. To make matters worse for Joe, KSI is clearly taking this fight more seriously and he's coming in like an absolute monster. He's training relentlessly from what he's shown and visibly he looks like he's in the best shape of his life. Joe on the other hand, even though he came into this whole fight situation seriously, I just don't think he's as hungry as KSI. He said that it was personal in his video now because of KSI's shots at people struggling with mental health, but I find that just superficial. Joe totally twisted the words which were just directed at him to make it look like KSI was a bigger douche than him, and I just don't buy his reasoning for anger. He didn't come off as sincere in his video. KSI did. Now to all the people who think this fight is going to be one-sided, shut up. It's not a mismatch at all. I think it's going to be a good fight. People are using this old, years old video of KSI boxing, and yeah, it's pretty sh but it's so old that it's just not a factor into his fighting style today at all. Joe Weller, we've seen him fighting recently and it's just, admittedly, it's not bad. Let's just look at his fight against Theo Baker, aka Malfoy. It was super one-sided. The more I watched this fight, the more I thought, wow, this Malfoy guy is sh at boxing. No good head movements whatsoever. From the start, Joe had the match in his hands, using a decent bit of head movement, ducking and dodging, while getting in relatively decent hits. Now I say relatively decent and not good because ultimately it is amateurish. It's not professional level in any sense, but for a YouTube boxer, he's good. Joe's head movement and footwork is good. Ultimately though, amateurish and he doesn't stand out to me as anything special. In my eyes, dodging Malfoy's slow jabs is just not impressive. Now obviously, KSI going into this fight isn't going to be some god either, he's not going in as a professional, he's also going to have the amateurish form. You can't look at Joe as this boxing god. In this case, I think KSI has a really good chance to win. Let's compare cardio for a second. Cardio can literally make or break a fighter's chance at winning. From what we saw in the Malfoy fight, it was just three rounds, which already is a very short-lived match. By the end of it, Joe was looking worn out and out of breath. Uh-oh, bad cardio? Now if that's not bad, supposedly, Joe and Malfoy were taking 10 minute breaks in between each of the rounds and the video was just edited to make it look smoother than it actually was. And if that's the case, Joe is going to blow out. And like I've said already and even in my past video for McGregor and Mayweather, cardio can be everything in deciding who wins a boxing match. 
KSI isn't cheating in his diet and in his uh, exercise routines from what we know, he's disciplined and he's dedicated. If he tones up with his already larger size, he could clobber Joe. His endurance and stamina will most likely be better. KSI just has that frame to last longer. He's going intensely with his cardio as well. The longer KSI can stay in this fight, the harder it will be for Joe to stand a chance. Sure, Joe is explosive, but KSI will last much longer in that drawn out fight. Not to mention, at the upload press conference, KSI literally was throwing Joe's goons around and ready to fight them all alone, so he's not weak by any standards. Sometimes in a fight, it can come down to the mental aspects which will actually beat out the physical aspects. All said and done, if they both train equally as hard, I think it's going to come down to who just wants it more. And in my opinion, KSI definitely wants it more than Joe. KSI is coming into this fight to kill him. Both of them can get into each other's heads, which we saw a bit of this at the press conference. I think Joe Weller is hugely underestimating KSI though, and that's why JJ is going to rip him a new one. Now before anyone calls me out and says, when you talked about McGregor, you said that he was going to lose because he had no experience. KSI has no experience, so what the hell is that all about? Well yeah, but McGregor was facing a world champion boxer, 49-0 at the time, without any experience. So yes, clearly he was outmatched. This is not the same. Joe is not a world champion boxer, he's barely anything at all. KSI, if trained right, can totally kick Joe's ass. They're pushing each other to the limit. Thousands of people are going to be watching and no matter who wins, one of these guys is going to be absolutely humiliated. KSI, in my opinion, just risks that bigger downfall just because he's been hyping up the fight a little bit more, so he has more to lose. Regardless, they're both egotistic as fuck. So even on that basis, I just think KSI is more likely to do more to defend his own ego than Joe is. When I lay it all out here, we can see that the size advantage clearly goes to KSI. The speed advantage might go to Joe, but the stamina and cardio? Totally for KSI. The training advantage, again, Joe might have that advantage because of Anthony Joshua, but is that really going to be enough when we clearly know that KSI is the one who wants this more? The percentages just lean towards JJ winning this fight, and just for all of these obvious reasons, my bets are on KSI. Hey everyone, welcome to the end card. First thing that I want to say is, good god, I am so sorry for coming out with this video so late in the in the year. I was hoping to get it out on the 1st of January. As you can tell, today is not the 1st of January, but hey, the video's out. Be thankful, okay? Thank you. I'm really interested to see who you guys think is actually going to win this fight. Like I said, KSI has my bets, but in the comments below, leave who you think is going to win. We got a little bit of news to go through really quickly as to what I'm going to be doing with my channel this year. So between now and May, I'm not going to be able to upload any more videos just because I'm wrapping up high school. I'm wrapping up, you know, exams and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to be taking a break and then I'll be coming back very strong once I graduate. Um, I've got a bunch of videos planned. Like I said, we've got skits, animations, music and other art stuff coming very, very soon. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a really good year. I'm looking very forward to the stuff that I have coming. It's been a dream of mine and I'm finally uh, making it happen. So yeah. We're looking at a pretty good year, and I'm excited to see where we go. Follow me on my socials, at HamzaB2K, on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. I post there all the time. And yeah, peace.